This episode is brought to you by your boy's first brand deal with an investing app, and it's public. I want you to hit that link in the top comment to get up to $70 in free stock. Let's get this money, baby. Let's get it. Now, let's talk about it. This is not financial advice. I just hope you bought your oven mitts, baby, because it's about to get hot in the kitchen. Now, hit that like button to show your boy some love. Hit that notification bell to stay tuned. Let's get straight to the point. Subscribe to the channel. And the first banger on the list. Woo, baby, we in the building today. We got a penny stock. It's about to get hot in the kitchen. Can you hear it? Tss, tss, who is hot? Now let's talk about it. And it's VIH. And now the company is VPC Impact. Currently, they're $11.60. They're up 8% on a day. They're up 3.9% after hours. They're up 17% in the last week, but they were flat for a very long time. But let's update on the call options like we always do. And we already know how these short sellers move, family. So earlier in the week, we picked up a $45 call right before they started to tank it. And we got in, we got up, and we got out. Oh man, these short sellers. Uh, I gotta sneeze. Is this gonna come out? Uh, here you go. Yep. <coughs> Woo! You already know what time it is, baby. Every time. I, I swear I'm allergic to short sellers, but let's keep it going. Now, we got in, we got up, we got out on that AMC call, made 21% on it. Let's get it. And I want to give a shout out to my guy for running the ball. You already know we're running a lucid call option, right? And my guy made $365 on it so far. Let's get this money, baby. And if you want to be up on the plays early as we are, hit that Discord link in the top comment. But let me know. If you said bless you, I want to see it. Come on now. You know your boy allergic to these short sellers. I wonder if you are too. But what's going on with VIH? Let's look at some key statistics, baby. Now, first thing, let's start on the bottom. And I highlighted this in blue just for you. So now, if you look at the 52-week low all the way on the bottom, it says it's 960. Notice we are right around the corner from the 52-week low. So we're getting a reasonable deal on the stock if we get in now. But we want to see if we want to run calls or puts on this. Keep your eyes open. Stay tuned, especially you, Discord family. Now, let's talk about it. The 52-week high, 22. So we know where it can go. Market cap, 289 million. This is still a penny stock, way in the penny stock range. And then the average volume, because this is what's important about the play. When you look at the average volume, you'll see that it's 2.63 million. So usually these are the amounts of shares that are being traded, but it says the volume on the day, 15.35 million. Family is way, way through the roof. Now, this is a swing trade. We're not getting married to this play, but we're going to make money with it on the way up or on the way down. Stay tuned. Or you might see it, and when we go live on Tuesday, you might just see that we say, you know what? We're going to sideline it and let it cool off before we make it move. Now, let's keep it going. What are the other key statistics on this? And you look at this. The shares outstanding all the way on the top. It says there are 20 million shares outstanding these are all of the shares of the company that exists now this is relatively low when you look at a company like apple who has over a billion a company like neo has over a billion or even a company like amc which has over 500 million shares outstanding but then when you look at the float the float is crazy low too the float is 19 million why is that important these are the amounts of shares that you could actually trade. You can't trade all of the shares outstanding, only some of them because the rest of them are locked up. But you could trade the float. Now, let's look at this. Institutions own over 69.36% of this company. Now, again, let's look at what the short interest is. It's up 40%, just about at 39.22%. So the short interest is crazy. For those of you who don't understand short interest like that, these are the amount of big companies that are borrowing shares to bet that the company is going to just sink in price. And then 40%. 39%, this is crazy. Anything over 10% is absolutely crazy short interest. Now, what's going on that's actually giving them this kind of volume? So if you look, you'll see that Benzinga, which is a respected news analyst and website for just stock news in general, anything like that, come on now, let's talk about it. They said this, they said, we analyze, will VPC impact destroy the short sellers oh when people heard that oh yeah that got them ready to go got their palm and they were this ready to get this money baby let's get it so now they said this they did all of these replies and they did a technical analysis on it they talked about it blah 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 and then they got the volume on the play to run up so you got to keep your eye off of that on a minimum put it on your watch list but for particularly these reasons i want you to watch these zones so ten dollars for a company like this an acquisition company ten dollars is a relatively safe excellent place 
to get in if you can. And then $11 has been a recent support. So we got our eye on that to see if it falls under the support and then tanks down and then we could pick it up low or we wanna see if it breaks above basically $12 because this could be sending us straight to the promised land, baby. I'll see you there. Now, let's get to the next banger on the list because you already know it's crypto weekend, baby. The stock market is closed, but the crypto market is open. Now, the first banger on the list is Ethereum. Ticker symbol ETH. Now, let's be clear. Ethereum is running up like crazy and we love to see it. And you already know we're using strike days. For example, we strike on specific days and we just basically say, boom, if I get paid on Friday, bow, that's when I'm striking. But let's look like this. It's up 19% on a week, almost 20% in just the week, family. And then it's up over 900% on the year. Okay, what's going on with them? It says, Ethereum broke the $4,000 barrier for the first time in three weeks month so it's been a long time and it's just been struggling in the two thousand and three thousand dollar mark but now it's picking back up and getting some momentum and then many analysts are optimistic that the price could increase even further and then they said the surge in demand for non-fungible tokens nfts are what is fueling this new run what is an nft an nft are a type of unique digital collectible kind of like cards that people used to invest in Pokemon cards, right, and stuff like that, or trading cards or anything like that, or artwork in a museum, it's kind of like that. So it's a unique thing, except you could prove that it's unique because it's made on the blockchain. And then, here's an example. There's someone named Winkleman, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm saying your name wrong, no disrespect, and he has something called Every Day's First 5,000, which according to Decrypt, sold for almost $70 million. This is an NFT, family, digital artwork. That's crazy. And then they said, what's special about NFTs is that the ownership and the copyright information is coded into the blockchain. So then how is this connected to Ethereum? If you look on the bottom, you'll see this. It says, while a, any copy of this could be just sent out on the internet, like a screenshot or something like that, only one person owns the true original NFT. And then it says this, you wonder what NFTs have to do with Ethereum again? And it says that basically they're all being made on this blockchain of Ethereum, the large majority of them, family. I want you to pay attention to these key levels. The first one is basically 3,099 because if we break under that 3,000, 100 level family then what you could imagine is going to happen is it's going to tank and then you could pick it up in the 2000s but then what did you want to see is it hold strong above the 3800 level because this is a support line but if we break above 4100 family we could be on a run for new all-time highs and i want you to be there but ethereum what are the price targets the stock analysts well, actually the crypto analysts you know we keep it real we keep it raw now the crypto analysts they said they see this going to five in 2021 they see it going to 10,000 in 2024 and they see it going to 20,000 in 2028 remember this is a beast a big dog a banger this could be going to 20,000 in a year this who knows you got to be ready for 80 percent swings with ethereum this is why we don't trade it this is why we invest and let it just rock out and now let's get it how could you get some ethereum or even cardano which cardano is the next banger on the list you can hit the link the coinbase link or hit the block file link i got them in the description now let's keep it going if you see Cardano right now is currently down 4%. But however, in the last month, it's up over 100%. So if you pick some up just in the last month, family, you already hit the home run. But this is only the beginning. This is only the beginning. Yahoo Finance posted an article and they said this, Cardano hits the three hour or the $3 mark for the first time as analysts predict, not a bull cycle, a super bull cycle family they posted this september 2nd and then they said the coin surpassed the binance coin becoming the third largest cryptocurrency you got number one bitcoin number two ethereum and now number three is cardano the beast the banger and then binance coin which is also a beast let's be clear on that but what's going on they said cardano its rally coincides with the launch of the alonzo upgrade they're calling it and this is going to give it smart contract features so then you can make nfts and all kind of other things like that with cardano like they're doing with ethereum now what are the price targets on it they said three dollars basically by 2021 five dollars by 2022 twenty dollars by 2030 but let's talk about the beast the big dog the banger and i want you to know this sometimes with amc the next beggar on the list sometimes family no news is good news but let's talk about it currently 44 dollars a share now what's going on with them my guy eeyore over on 
Twitter, he said this, the short interest is worth $40 billion of all the legally issued shares. This does not count the synthetic shares. Who knows what that is? Probably crazy. You know, if it looked like a duck, it quacked like a duck, it's probably a synthetic share. And then he said the shorts are basically up in their position, basically by 9 million shares just in the last few days. And then that was worth almost $400 million. However, they're down $3.8 billion in 2021. And this includes losing basically $128 million on Monday actually yeah let's get it baby come on now now what i want you to be ready for when the stock market opens again is this if you go to stonko tracker you'll see that there's over 1.1 million shares available for the short sellers to borrow and what do they do with these borrow shares they try to use them and force the price down on the stock so if you can't handle the heat of these hot stocks then stay out of the kitchen and consider investing in the index funds family i love y'all if you want to support your boy hit that link and you'll get some free stock worth up to 70 dollars but again discord family i see you over there i love y'all Take care.